people of Cambodia have known the horrors of genocide, occupation and civil war. The trauma from Pol Pot's Khmer Rouge regime from 1975 to 1979, its mass evacuation of cities and towns and the ruthless genocide of those they viewed as opposition can be seen across all generations. Before the start of the Khmer Rouge genocide, there were about 10,000 Christians in Cambodia. Then came year zero. By 1979, only about 200 Christians remained alive in Cambodia, as 90% of the Christians and all Christian leaders were martyred or fled the country. Despite his attempt to crush the church and the pressure on it during the next decades, the small remnant has grown from a few hundred Christians to approximately 300,000 today with an annual evangelical growth rate of a sizable 8.8%, making it one of the fastest growing regions in the world. Today, there are more than 2,000 churches. There is great excitement among many of these churches with a national vision to see a church in every village and people group in Cambodia. Currently, an estimated 11,000 villages are still without a single church. So during our last visit to Cambodia, where we once again got to meet with a number of pastors, partnering with Harvesters Ministries, training was given regarding the methodology of church planting, which includes the focus on evangelism. And so following our two days of training, each of these church planters were committed to go to four villages where they have not yet preached the gospel. And so over the course of four days, 736 Khmer people heard the gospel and 456 of them accepted Jesus Christ as their savior. And this is how lives and communities are being transformed in Cambodia. When Cambodian Christians are committed to planting new churches among their own people. And so this, despite the government's ban on any door-to-door -door evangelism and public distribution of tracts, and so over the last number of years, Harvesters Ministries has played an important role to help train pastors for them to know God's Word and disciple believers, evangelize the lost and plant churches in every community around Cambodia.